Hello and welcome to another episode of MHub Inside. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a member project as well as some expanded capabilities that I've never gotten to play with on our Tormox slant bed lathe. A uh, member came to us saying, hey, I'd like to make this part, which is a restrictor nozzle for something. Not really certain. That doesn't really matter. It's just a cool thing to make on the lathe. Uh, three or four stainless, very tiny thing. You can see from my little sample right here, it's not a large object. Um, I told the member, you can either learn to do it yourself, as you can at MHub, or if your timeline is a little bit of a crunch, we can probably get it done for you for a fee. So I gave him a quote, and he's like, perfect, let's go that route. Um, the fun thing that I haven't gotten to use before is a polar, or part puller as well as uh, the automatic collet closer. So I had to manually program all of that stuff in Fusion, bring it over, do a whole bunch of testing. Um, so first thing I had to do was draw all this in Fusion and then figure out all the necessary code for that. So on my computer, you can see we went from a simple hand drawing to the full CAD model. Again, it's a very simple model. Um, it has all of the features that he wanted, the exact size and everything. And from there, we built out a standard CAD or CAM system. So it's just going to face, spot drill, drill, uh, rough finish, uh, a groove to make sure this little corner is sharp, and part it all off. Um, and then from there, this whole line of code, I hadn't really been able to find an example anywhere. So that was something that I came up with specifically so that we could utilize this tool that we have that I've personally never gotten to utilize. So another member did get to figure it out. I just never had a reason to myself. Um, with that, it's simply going to uh, go to a safe position, make sure the spindle is off, turn off the coolant, um, come down to the proper location at a relatively safe speed. Um, once it's grabbed on the part, it's going to open that automatic, automatic collet closer, pull it a very specific amount based on this part that we're making. There's not a universal amount. Um, close the collet, remove itself in a safe manner, go to a safe position, and then because uh, the member that gave it needed, he didn't give me a quantity, he just said, here are two sticks of 304 stainless, make as many as you can. Um, so it's also, it has a little bit of a code at the end that has a, uh, utilizing the built-in counter, the M99, which we can go over a little bit more, um, is going to just go until it reaches a certain amount. Uh, so that's really cool. The benefit of this is normally if you were doing this as a one-off or two-off, you know, if I wanted to do 10 or 15 of these, I'd sit there and hit go, move the stock a little bit using the collet closer, close it, hit go again. And I'm now stuck at that machine because there are three to four minute cycles uh, until it's done. And that's you know all of my time standing there. The benefit of using something like a part puller or if you have a fancier machine, um, a spindle loader from the, the backside, you can walk away from the machine while it's making you money and do something else. So essentially you get to double bill your time. Um, so if we walk over to the machine, or I should say step over to the machine, the thing in particular that we're talking about is this system back here uh, that is pneumatically going to open and close the collet. And then this guy right here, which is called the easy pull. Um, it's simply two uh, wheels with a urethane spring on the inside that as it lines up, it just opens and these teeth are going to grab on with enough oomph uh, that it's going to just lock onto our part so as soon as the collet opens and you move the um, the carriage a little bit further back your stock comes out that set amount um, everything has been proven out so it should go great um, you can see again it's a little tiny part so uh, this first run i've just for you guys i've done it as five so that you can see the whole thing work uh, i can change one number in the code reset a line of of a counter and we have a whole bunch of parts so why don't you watch
And so here comes the really cool part. We're gonna bring the easy pull into place. Purse is coming down on the Z, over in the X to the exact location of the center of the part. It's gonna grab onto it, open the collet, move it out, move to a safe location, and the whole thing will start again. So now, if we take a look, there's a bunch of little parts in the bottom. See, we have a number of little guys down here. They're just in the chip. I'll find the rest later, but you can see there's a couple of them. Now I just gotta separate them from all the other stuff that's down there. So that was a test for you guys, so you could see the five that were made. Now I'll reprogram it for however many fit left on this piece of stock, and I can walk away from the machine and do something else. Um, I hope this was informative, and please let us know if you guys ever like to see anything else. We'll see if we can post out that little bit of code so other people can use this as well, and it'll make somebody's life a little easier in the future. Hope you guys have a good day.